Hello. Good morning, all of you. Am I audible? Please mention whether the audio video is clear. Let me check. So welcome all of you to this lecture. Today's topic is coordinate geometry as part of the complete general aptitude course for the upcoming gate exam and it is useful for all other competitive exam where these topics are coming and uh, gate exam all streams this course will be equally useful and more detail of mine is given here and if you want to be part of my telegram channel and whatsapp group and other free resources I provide in the description of this video you can get the link or this is the details of how to be part of the whatsapp group and there is an exclusive telegram channel for this course alone where we uh, uh, post all the study materials um, study materials and other free resources and updates of all other free classes and these are the books I have written and this is currently the bestseller book available for CSCR net general aptitude section if you are preparing for CSCR net also. Okay, so let us start. So yesterday we discussed about 2D geometry, 3D geometry, 3D geometry gate exam mein itna questions nahi aaya hai lekin mensuration topic mein wo 3D geometry important hai. So mensuration tomorrow we will discuss. Today's topic is coordinate geometry. You know I hope what is coordinate geometry. Sabko pata hai na what okay, is coordinate so geometry. Using Cartesian coordinates we are representing points and we are discussing more about the slope of the slope of a line and distance between the points. All those things are involved in this. So by definition coordinate geometry is a branch of geometry where the position of the points on the plane is defined with the help of an ordered pair of numbers known as coordinates. So Cartesian coordinate it is called uh, means Cartesian the name Cartesian comes from Descartes who actually um, made this Cartesian coordinate system. Descartes the famous mathematician and philosopher. Okay so anyway there are four quadrants you know right Quad quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3, quadrant 4 very fast I am discussing because there are many aspects in this coordinate geometry also. So what is the meaning of this yeah in school days you have yeah different chapters you have used co 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 coordinate geometry directly or indirectly in linear inequality plotting linear inequality or um, yeah Cartesian coordinate system coordinate geometry itself chapters you have learned in school days plotting graph that is also connected with coordinate geometry itself for example this is a Cartesian coordinate system so if you represent a point here I don't know whether how much it is visible on the mobile screen I hope you are able to see the numbers now if you are able to see the numbers what is the meaning of a point this point 5 in the x-axis 5 in the y-axis it is 5 5 point this is the first quadrant here both are positive both numbers are positive now x axis also positive y axis also positive ye x axis mein ye positive part hai ye negative part hai y axis mein ye positive aur ye negative hai ye sab clear hai na i am just assuming that uh, i am assuming that audio video clear now all of you yes okay i am assuming that you people are clear about uh, uh, what is x axis what is y axis and positive and negative so what about this point if this is the point what is the meaning of that minus 5 on x axis 5 on y axis so it is minus 5 plus 5 that is positive negative axis this is second quad quadrant is positive negative and what about for example minus 5 minus 5 minus 5 minus 5 so yeah actually minus 5 minus 5 means this is negative this is also negative so that is both negative axis the third quadrant sorry both negative quadrant both the numbers x quadrant x coordinate and y coordinate both will be negative for example here i take a point this is plus 5 minus 5 x axis may plus 5 y axis may minus 5 so that is plus 5 minus 5 that is positive negative these four are clear now the quadrants quadrants kya hai wo bhi clear hai or kaisa plot karna hai so first quadrant may positive x positive y second quadrant mein minus x min plus y third quadrant mein minus x minus y fourth quadrant mein plus x minus y ye charo clear hai na okay now let us understand more what is the relevance of coordinate geometry for example if you see this point this point 
if you want to find the distance between these two points yeah you have by hearted distance formula formula i guess but let us understand it and logically do it like we did in all other previous chapters as much as possible we'll try to understand it how to do the how to find the length of this line without using a scale how to find it for that you can use in the previous class we discussed about right triangle ka pythagoras theorem if you can find this length and this length if this is say a length and this is b length this will be square root of a square plus b square now what is this length this is the vertical length this is the horizontal length vertically how much they are separated horizontally how much they are separated that will be a and b now by that you can find the distance between them that is what you by heart as x minus x2 the x, x1 uh, sorry x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square square root of it that is equal to uh, the distance between two points but let us understand it step by step can you find this a very simple question all of you find this one minute will be more than enough all of you find it not starting timer all of you try it and post the answer in the chat then i will explain Make sure all of you have invited your friends. Let more people join. I am making you derive distance formula yourself. So that you will be more connected with coordinate geometry. Very good. Most of you got it. Wonderful, wonderful. So, what is the distance between the points minus 7, 0 and 28, 0? So, minus 7, 0, 28, 0, if you plot it, minus 7, 0, 28, 0, I will make you understand how to practically understand it. I know how to, you people all know how to represent it. What is the meaning of this is 0, this is 0? That means y axis is 0. What is the meaning of y axis? Vertically how much movement? X axis means horizontally how much movement? Y axis means vertically how much movement? 0 means vertically there is no movement. That means it is on the x axis itself. Y equal to 0 means on x axis. This also many of, many of us by hearted this also in school days. In the graph chapter na. In graph chapter. We used to remember y equal to 0 means x axis, x equal to 0 means y axis. But practically understand y equal to 0 means there is no vertical movement at all, it is on the x axis itself. If x equal to 0, there is no horizontal movement, it is on the y axis itself. That points will be all on the y axis itself if x equal to 0. So that is clear, I guess. Anyway, minus 7, 0 is on the x axis. Minus 7 means 0, say negative. That is to the left of this y axis and 28 0 means to the right of y axis. So, what is the distance between these two? These two, this is like a line only. Na? The distance between them will be here to here distance 28, here to here distance 7. So, 28 plus 7 or mathematically speaking 28 minus minus 7. 28 minus minus 7, 35 will be the distance. There it was easy because it was a parallel line to the x-axis itself. If it is a parallel line to the y-axis also it is easy. But what if it is not a parallel line like I showed you in the previous question. So we will go to that. Can you find this distance between minus 3, minus 1 and 1, 2? Don't use the formula. Even if you know the formula, please don't use it. I am asking you graphically can you find it? Roughly plotting the graph or looking at the coordinate, not using it in the distance formula we are trying to derive distance formula so make a try to derive it yourself all of you
very good many of you got the correct answer so let us represent it distance between minus 3 minus 1 and 1 2 so minus 3 minus 1 how you can represent it something like this na minus 3 that means minus 3 to this and minus 1 so this will be minus 3 minus 1 1 2 means 1 2 all of you are clear how to plot points na in case you have doubt you can mention it so that i will explain more so iska distance find karne ke liye i have told you na here in this case if you can find this a and b length then you can use a square plus b square pythagoras theorem because this is right triangle same thing we are using here if you can find this length and this length this a and this b you can find root of a square plus b square that is how you can find it easily and what is this length if you draw two parallel lines here distance between these two are what here one then two one plus two three so three will be a and here from minus three to zero three three to sorry zero to one there is one like number line you consider zero say minus three tak three distance say zero say one tak one distance say we want only positive difference distance cannot be negative na so definitely that is um, four distance so this three and four you apply pythagoras theorem you will get five so five is the answer or root of three square plus four square and that is what we represented as 2 minus minus 1, 1 minus minus 3. All of you understanding? And that when you represent as a formula, that becomes the distance formula. x2 minus x1 modulus because distance cannot be negative. y2 minus y1 the modulus. And usme you are using Pythagoras theorem x2 minus x1 the whole square modulus square modulus will cancel y2 minus y1 the whole square is y2 minus y1 the whole square square root of that pythagoras theorem can you all tell me whether you are clear about this that means how you will write it distance formula if you want to write it as a standard form x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square please respond is this clear and if possible you mention whether you are um, whether you have already understood distance formula earlier like this or now you are understanding distance formula logically can you mention it whether you have by hearted this or not that is what i'm asking in school days also i think you have learned in pythagoras theorem way how to derive but derivation we have forgotten we just mugged up formula that is a problem we have we mugged up a lot of formula that is why we don't know where to use which formula Logically understand kiya toh confusion nahi hoga. Kyunki hum clearly pata hai hum kya kar ra hai. So that clarity, that conviction in doing questions is needed. That I know this. That is why I am doing this. That should be the thought that should come when you see a question. Not search for which formula to use when. So, so happy to hear Siddhi. Don't worry. Earlier you didn't understood logically that is nothing to be uh, sad about because most of us in our school system as we wanted marks we want we had to rot learn a lot of things otherwise we cannot go to the next higher studies now that is why we had to rot learn so mistakes in school days now we cannot correct anyway now we can correct it for the future the past we cannot change but the future we can change how we make the present that will affect our future so now we can unlearn and relearn that is what I am trying to do so okay shivani so happy to hear so then can you find this super fast i'm uh, what we can say taking you into the coordinate geometry more complicated things with simple examples first try it i will start the timer also that will be better so that we get an idea how much time we are taking for each question yeah this question one minute will be enough i guess try it and post the answer in the chat
as i told geometry yesterday's topic is very important because that topic's understanding we need in this chapter also next chapter also distance and direction chapter also so if you have missed yesterday's class please check the recording after this class Okay, so I'll explain which of these points is the farthest away from the origin. That means origin is 0, 0. Origin is 0, 0. Na? This is 0, 0. 0, 0 is a distance. Is ka distance kaisa find karega? You can make this horizontal and vertical distance. Ye distance kya hoga? 4 hai na? 0 to 4, 4 hai. Ye kya hai? 6 hai. So root of 4 square plus 6 square. Root of 4 square plus 6 square will be this. That is 20, um, 16 plus 36. Root of 52. Root of 52 is this distance. All of you understood? Same way you can find the other two distances also. Due to lack of time, I am directly showing it. Here it will be root of 4 square plus 6 square. Here it will be 5, 5. Root of 5 square plus 5 square. Here it will be 7, 1. 7, 1. Horizontal 7, vertical 1. So root of 7 square plus 1 square. Now, which is largest, that will be the largest and which is smallest is the smallest. Farthest means largest value. So, this is root of uh, 52. This is root of 50. This is root of 50. So, which will be the farthest? Are you all understanding what I am saying? So, root of 52 will be the farthest, that is uh, 4, 6. 4, 6 is option C. Option C, many of you got, you are right. Option C will be the correct answer. All clear? So, I think now you got a familiarity with points, how to represent and what does that denote and what is the distance between them. It's not clear, eh, na? So, now lines, that is next thing is lines. How to represent the line? Yeah, here also you can actually use it. Yeah, 0, 0, 4, 6 hai to, yeah, line ka equation kya hoga? If points are given, that is called... Um, um, two point form. There are three forms for equation of a line. These are the major three forms. First is ax plus by plus c equal to 0. What does that mean? For example, if I write 2x plus 3y equal to 5, that is an equation of a line. Yeah, do you remember in school days, an equation will be given. You will put x value, y value, sample values. Two or yeah, three set of values you will take. And you will plot that point. Plot the points on the graph and join them. Isn't it? Same thing. Here, this is a. Coefficient of x is a. Coefficient of y is b. And the constant. Yeah, in the standard form, this 5 will come to the left side. So, you can rewrite it as 2x plus 3y minus 5 equal to 0. So, the c, the intercept c is minus 5. Are you all understanding? Now, with a question, I will explain more about it. Yeah, one thing you want to know. In some questions, we need to write it in um, this slope-intercept form. So, what is slope-intercept form? I am writing it here. Y is equal to mx plus c. When the slope of an equation is given, this will be useful. Slope means, for example, this is a line. This is a line. This is a line. What is the difference between these lines? The angle is different, na? 
that is actually slope angle is one way to say the slope using tan theta trigonometry kanakiyato so wo slope ko m se in the, m se denote karega so ye dono form use kiya to ax plus by plus c equal to 0 aur ye form use kiya to isko ye form mein kaisa convert kar sakta hai that is also very important isse y denote karna hai y is equal to mx plus c hai na so you will you can denote by is equal to minus ax minus c minus ax minus c so y is equal to minus a by b x minus c by a c by b now this minus a by b will be the slope and minus c by b will be the intercept in this equation y is equal to mx plus c now many of you will be con confused okay i told that practically you have to understand and i am writing everything in constants now don't worry with a question i will explain it logically don't worry the latest gate exam question is a very good example to understand this concept better all of you try this with this question itself you will understand this concept better in case you have lack of clarity all of you try this please Try it fast. Okay, most of you are confused. Now, nah? don't worry, I will explain. So, there are four lines given now. Nah? All these are AX plus BY plus C form. Are you agreeing that? First, tell me that. AX plus BY plus C form hai ye. A is 2, B is minus 3, C is minus 5 here. 3, 2, minus 8. 4, minus 6, minus 5. 6, minus 9, 6. When I explained that previous, when I was explaining that previous uh, general form and slope intercept form, I have connected those two, na? General form ko y ke perspective mein, y equal to mx plus c form mein likhne ke baad, slope or uh, intercept milega. Abhi ye question dekho, charo option mein, l1, l2, the lines, l1, l2, l3, l4, which all are parallel, which all are perpendicular, that is what is asked. There you need to understand when the line will be parallel and when the line will be perpendicular. This is perpendicular, na? 90 degree. If two lines are perpendicular, their angle, their slope product, product of the slopes. If M1 and M2 are the pro slopes, M1 into M2 will be minus 1. M1 into M2 will be minus 1. Again, that is more, you can easily understand it with trigonometry. Trigonometry, if possible, I will give you a separate lecture. Why it is minus 1 in trigonometry? Trigonometrically, you can easily define it. M1 into M2 or slopes of these are minus 1 if two lines are perpendicular. Perpendicular hai to. Abhi similarly parallel hai to. In the case two lines are parallel, their slopes will be equal. Because their slopes are equal. Now, are you getting why the slopes are equal? Slope means how much slanted it is. For example, you have a ladder like this. 
another ladder like this. Their slopes are not equal. But one ladder like this parallelly another ladder means their slopes are equal. The angle at which it is landed is same. Na? So definitely their slopes will be equal. M1 equal to M2. Parallel heto equal slope. Perpendicular heto minus 1 will be the product of the slope. Ye do no clear hai? Matlab ye char lines ka slope find kiya to you can find which of them are parallel and which of them are perpendicular. Slope find karne ke liye ye charo line ko slope intercept form me likna hai. How to write that first line? I will show that in detail. Next, I will ask you to try it. I told you y equal to mx plus c me. Ye m has slope. M is the slope. So y is equal to mx plus c form me hai to. Ye y ko ek side me 3y. If I take to another side, 3y is equal to 2x plus 5 hoga. But y chahiye. 3y nahi. So 3 se divide kariye. y is equal to 2 by 3 x plus 5 by 3 hoga. Now this 2 by 3 is m na. m is 2 by 3. Please respond all of you. Slope kesa fine kiya. Did you understood or not? Please respond. Yeah, I could have gone more deeper into uh, what is slope, how to logically derive slope and all. But that will take a lot of time. That is why I am keeping a balance on covering content and explaining you more logic. So that is why I am taking the help of y equal to mx plus c. Kesa derive kiya, wo hum abhi ke liye skip kar raha hai. So anyway, itna clear hai na? So can you find the same for this? 2y equal to minus 3x plus 8. y is equal to minus 3 by 2 x plus 8 by 2 that is 4. Similarly, you can write all the four lines equation like this y equal to mx plus c form. Please check it. Are you clear? These four lines, how we wrote it as y equal to mx plus c form. y equal to mx plus c form me kesa likha. y ko x side me leke, you just rearrange it just like we did in, uh, did in the linear equation chapter. All of you clear? Please respond. Latest gate exam problem. So that means here the slope m is 2 by 3, here it is minus 3 by 2, here it is 2 by 3, here it is 2 by 3. Minus 2 by 3, minus 3 by 3, 2 by 3, 2 by 3. That means L1, L3, L4 have equal slopes. That means L1, L2, L3 can be denoted like these three lines. They are parallel. L1 is parallel to L3, L1 is parallel to L4, L3 is parallel to L4. All those are correct. Now you just have to pick up from the answer option which is saying so. But L2 is different, but maybe the perpendicular condition will be valid. Let us check each options and understand what we need to find. What we need to find. L1 is parallel to L2, can you say? Esa hai to dono equal slopes hona chahiye. No, that itself eliminate option A. L2 is parallel to L4, can you say? L2 parallel nahi hai because they are not having equal slope. So option B bhi galat hai. L3 is perpendicular to L4. L3 is not perpendicular to L4 because L3 and L4 have same slope itself. So they are parallel. L4 is perpendicular to L2. L4 perpendicular to L2 or not, let us check. Perpendicular hai uska slope ka product minus 3 by 2 into 2 by 3. Minus 1 dena hai. Yes, it is giving minus 1 slope. So they are perpendicular. L2 and L4 are perpendicular. Similarly, L3 is parallel to L2. L3 is parallel to L2, is it correct? One second. L3 is not parallel to L2. L3 is perpendicular to L2 because they have no same slope. So definitely option D, option C is also not correct because of the second statement it is wrong. L4 is perpendicular to, sorry, we are discussing this now. Sorry, sorry, my mistake. Third is already eliminated. L4 is parallel to L3. L4 is parallel to L3, yes. L3 and L4 have same slope. So it is parallel to L3. So option D is totally correct. L4 perpendicular to L2 is correct. L4 parallel to L3 is also correct. All of you clear? This is how to do this question. So this is a very important aspect of coordinate geometry. Equation of a line, the different forms. 
there are three major forms slope intercept form general form and also two point form two point form when question arises i will explain about that also now yeah this is the two point form yeah try this question this question actually is more about plotting plot karke bhi kar sakta there are other ways also make a try anyway gate 2022 another question i'll give you 2 minutes super fast try it So happy to hear Shaishta thank you for the good words Okay So the function y of x is defined in the interval 0 to 1 on the x axis as uh, shown So y of x equal to okay here in, when I talk taught you about the inequality chapter I told you what is the meaning of this this and this x 0 or 1 by 3 ke beech mein 2 hona chahiye value x 1 by 3 to 3 by 4 ke beech mein 3 hona chahiye value 3 by 4 to 1 ke beech mein 1 hona chahiye value that means all the values are between 0 to 1 only x values are between 0 to 1 1 second i will uh, show a cartesian system itself to explain it better okay this will be better so look at this so question is saying that yeah i need a little more bigger image then only it will be clear i guess okay i think it will be enough So zero to one by three, two will be the value. Zero to one by three, two will be the value means zero to one by three. Yeah, I am using this. You can draw a bigger image, then it will be clear. Zero to one by three. If this is one by three, two will be the value. This much is two. Are you able to see it properly? Two will be the value from zero to one by three. Then one by three to three by four. One by three to three by four. Three will be the value. One by three to three by four. If this is three by four, I am assuming. 1 by 3 to 3 by 4 3 will be the value and 3 by 4 to 1 3 by 4 to 1 1 is the value 3 by 4 to 1 1 is the value 3 by 4 to 1 1 is the value means 3 by 4 to 1 1 is the value all of you clear now question is asking what which of the following is the area under the curve area under the curve means if you denote it like this area under it this is just a representation 
the picture is not clear you can draw it your own i am taking the cartesian coordinate one image only i have added on that itself i am drawing uh, because it is only 0 to 1 now that is why it is looking very small is it visible properly please respond so now you can use the area you can just find the area of these three rectangles finding the area of these three rectangles you will get the answer or there are different ways to do it uh, otherwise you can consider this as a unit square and then find that area and these two rectangles you can find that is up to you anyway first this length was what 0 to uh, 0 to 1 by 4 we have taken first now just a minute 0 to 1 by 3 so this distance is 1 by 3 distance then 1 by 3 to 3 by 4 1 by 3 to 3 by 4 how much distance is there 3 by 4 minus 1 by 3 3 by 4 minus 1 by 3 is 12 lcm that is 9 minus 4 9 minus 4 so uh, 9 minus 4 5 by 12 so this distance is 5 by 12 distance similarly this is 3 by 4 to 1 that is 1 by 4 distance a proper idea of fraction is important here also so even this also you can do it in your mind 3 by 4 is 75 percent 1 by 3 is 33.33 percent 75 minus 33.33 wo percentage ko uh, convert kiya to bhi chalega if you are good with percentage and fraction connection or ye height kitna hai yes 0 to 2 hai so 2 length so ye rectangle first rectangle ka area 2 into 1 by 3 hoga are you agreeing that second rectangle ka area 5 by 12 length into breadth will be 3 5 by 12 into 3 hoga or ye third rectangle ka length 1 by 4 hai to breadth will be uh, 1 so, ye tino ka sum hoga total area. This is one way to do it. Using integration also you can do it. But uh, in my opinion, this is better. If you can draw that um, values very fast, this itself is better. I hope all of you understood this. Adding it up, you will finally get 26 by 12 or 13 by 6. Please respond all of you. Is it clear or not? All of you clear? Two times one by three and three by four minus one by three is five by twelve you will be getting into three and one minus three by four is one by four one by four into one then it is all about fraction simplification please mention in the chat is it all clear yes that was also a latest gate exam problem then can you try this This also was asked in gate 2022. All of you try this. Roughly draw the picture that is the best thing. I agree that for some of those questions it takes time. But if you practice more you can reduce that time.
okay so I'll explain so two straight lines pass through the origin x0 y0 0 0 one of them pass through the point x1 y1 1 3 and the other passes through the point x0 y0 1 2 I think this is x2 y2 there is a typing error because x0 y0 is already mentioned now what is the area enclosed between the straight lines in the interval 0 to 1 on the x-axis so we can draw this picture first of all origin means 0 0 0 0 and then what is 1 3 point 1 3 point and next point is 1 2 point 1 2 point so from 0 0 also there is a line passing through origin and this also pass through origin so yeah freehand drawing pro draw it properly then it will be more clear now question is asking what area enclosed between straight lines in the interval area enclosed between straight lines is all this area infinite area it is but between 0 to 1 means if you draw a line like this only this much area we need to find this much area are you all understanding that is a triangle area na? Are you all understanding that is a triangle area? Yeah, triangle ka base, you can say that this base will be, yeah, I will draw it once again so that it is more clear. This point, this point, this point joining this triangle. This triangle ka base 1 hai na? Or ye height kya hai? Height b 1 hai. One second. Yeah. Height will also be 1. Triangle area is half base into height. Na? Yesterday also we discussed that for a question. And in next class we will be discussing mensuration in detail. Half base into height. But when you take base and height you should conveniently take it. Ye base find karna easy hai na. To ye base consider karo. Ye base ka height ye hai. Height does not mean that that line should be inside the triangle. That is a confusion many people have. Some people may be thinking, ye height kaisa hoga, ye line, ye triangle ke andar nahi hai na, andar, nahi, andar hona saruri nahi hai. Height only means from one side to the opposite vertex, the perpendicular line drawn. This is the opposite vertex. Yaha pe perpendicular aisa nahi draw kar sakta. So clearly, this is the height. That height definitely is 1 na. So base is also 1. Base is also 1. Height is also 1. So half 1 into 1. 1 by 2.5 is the answer. All of you clear? Very simple question, na? Yeah, school level question, but if you practice only, you can speed up the calculation here. Because at exam time also, you have to roughly draw this coordinates and answer it. There are other ways also, but that they are more complicated. That is why I am going with the coordinate way itself or Cartesian coordinate way itself. So, if so, try this question. Try this question. All these are gate 2022 questions. 2022 may many question paper had questions from coordinate geometry. That is why I am explaining that in detail. Prakar, where you have doubt? Can you specify? Konsa step may doubt hai? Wo bataiye. Yes, Shekhar, uh, yeah, that is a good point. Those of you are confused about that way, another way is you can use a complement idea in the previous question. What is a complement idea? Ye triangle ka area find karne ke baad, ye subtract kiya to bhi chalega. But that is double two steps na. To avoid steps, the basic easy way is half base into height directly. One time only you have to uh, take. Okay, the height part, some of you have doubt. Let me explain. Listen carefully. Many people have doubt on height. Yeah, the reason why you have doubt on height, because in school days, you were given convenient triangle. Iska height ye hai, clear hai. Iska height ye hai, clear hai. Lekin, aisa hai triangle, triangle thoda complicated, aisa hai to. Iska height, from here, the height means, this is the height. Height means if you draw two parallel lines joining those two vertex, uske beech wala distance is the height. Perpendicular distance is the height or the shortest distance is the height. Are you understanding? 
ऐसा एक ट्रायंगल है तो ये कोऑर्डिनेट ये वर्टेक्स से हाइट ऐसा ड्रॉ कर सकता है परपेंडिकुलर सॉरी इट इज नॉट परपेंडिकुलर या यू कैन ड्रॉ इट परपेंडिकुलर एंड फाइंड सो विच एवर विल बी परपेंडिकुलर दैट इज हाउ वी कैन डिफाइन हाइट विच एवर इज परपेंडिकुलर दैट इज वट हाउ वी डिफाइन हाइट सो इफ इट इज लाइक दिस असाइड टॉल हाइट इज दिस दिस इज हाइट फ्रॉम दिस वर्टेक्स सॉरी दिस साइड हाइट इज दिस आर यू गेटिंग द पॉइंट but if the picture is something like this something like this from this the height will be this that is the same level the perpendicular line is the height is that clear please respond height ka idea clear hai each base has a height each base has a height for each base the height is the perpendicular line drawn from that base to the opposite vertex ऑपोजिट वर्टेक्स ये पिक्चर में हम एक पिक्चर ड्रॉ किया था ना ये क्वेश्चन में ये क्वेश्चन में ये पिक्चर का दिस लाइन दिस लाइन इन बिटवीन व्हाट आई एम सेइंग इज इफ यू कंसीडर दिस एज द बेस बी ये हाइट ये है हाइट बिकॉज फ्रॉम दिस बेस इफ यू ट्राई टू ड्रॉ टू दिस वर्टेक्स द परपेंडिकुलर लाइन विल बी दिस ना दिस इज नॉट परपेंडिकुलर so that is not height is that clear now all of you those who are confused about height if that is clear that will save a lot of time that is why i am asking you to think that way base into height if you do this also it is correct but that is double step you are finding this triangle area minus this triangle area aisa kiya to bhi sahi hai aisa kiya to you feel comfortable because there con height ka koi confusion nahi hai wo right triangle hai isliye easy tha लेकिन उससे भी फास्टर है ना इफ यू जस्ट कंसिडर दिस एस बेस एंड दिस एस हाइट ओके वी आर ट्राइंग टू बी स्मार्टर एंड वी आर फाइंग ट्राइंग टू बी फास्टर दैट वे ओके दिस क्वेश्चन नाउ ट्राई okay so i'll explain here also if you yeah this question can be done in different ways if you are getting idea from the question itself if you are smart enough without drawing the picture you can get the idea what is 0 1 what is 0 minus 3 0 1 0 minus 3 ke beech mein four unit hai na the the horizontal distance will be four vertical distance will be zero because it is on the same line itself and here minus 2 minus 1 2 minus 1 ke beech mein vertical distance 4 hai 
सो वर्टिकल डिस्टेंस हॉरिजॉन्टल डिस्टेंस दोनों फोर है दैट इज इनफ टू कंफर्म दैट दिस इज अ स्क्वायर इफ स्क्वायर इज द एरिया फॉर सॉरी एट सॉरी या स्क्वायर दैट इज अ स्क्वायर वी कैन फर्स्ट एस्टैब्लिश तो आर नॉट कन्विंस्ड अबाउट इट आई विल एक्सप्लेन हाउ इट हाउ इट वर्क लुक एट दिस सीरो वन लेट एस डिनोट इट सीरो वन मीन्स एल यूज अनदर कलर सीरो वन मीन्स दिस इज सीरो वन सीरो माइनस थ्री सीरो माइनस थ्री समवेयर हियर माइनस टू माइनस वन माइनस टू माइनस वन एंड टू माइनस वन टू माइनस वन टू माइनस वन लुक एट दिस इफ यू जॉइन दिस it is a square na some of you may say it is a rhombus no it is yeah every rhombus are square sorry every square is a rhombus this is a square rhombus which is a square itself because this will be perpendicular from the picture it is evident na ha rhombus assume kiya tabhi problem kuch nahi hai answer to same milega now what we need to find area of this area of this either you can find this side length These all four side length are equal. Otherwise, your diagonal length है तो भी find कर सकता है. Half diagonal one into diagonal two is also area of a parallelogram. Rhombus हो, rectangle हो, square हो. Half diagonal one into diagonal two भी use कर सकता है. ये diagonal one to diagonal two देखो. One two three four है ना? Four. One two three four है ना? Half four into four will be the answer. Half four into four uh, will be the area under this quadrilateral that is. 4 into 4, 16 by 2, uh, 8 is the answer. All of you understood it. That is the geometrical way of doing this question. As I told, if you are good with coordinate geometry without drawing this itself, as I have told you, zero, one, one minus three के बीच में four distance है. Minus two, minus one, two minus one के बीच में four distance है. वो derive कर सकता है. But if that is not clear or confident, you can plot this and draw like this. That is a geometrical way. Now, if you want an algebraic way, you can use distance formula and do it. Without drawing, you can find distances between the points and do it. But that will take more time now because too many distance to be found. If you find the distance between the edges, you are getting all root eight. That establishes that it is a square. And if you look at the diagonals, that establishes that it is a square again. Yeah. All sides being equal, only establish it's a um, it is a, a rhombus or a parallelogram. But once the diagonal is also equal, we can say it is a square. Square है तो side length square ऐसा भी कर सकता है. Side length root eight find करके square करना. लेकिन ये time consuming है ना. But this will give you more uh, what we can say connection to coordinate geometry. That way this is good. That is clear. Try this question. This is very simple. Very simple question. All of Okay, so 
some of you got it. It is simple now. Compared to previous question, this is much simpler. Two straight lines are drawn perpendicular to each other. So, their slopes are minus 1. Uh, in the xy plane, if alpha and beta are acute angles, acute angles means less than 90 degree. Yesterday we discussed triangle ka different types. Mein. The straight line make, the, uh, make with x axis, then alpha plus beta. If alpha and beta are acute angles, that means they are less than 90. They are less than 90 means, yeah, I will come to that. I will come to that. So, look at this. This is how you can draw it. This is how you can plot it. If this is the x axis and this is the y axis. These two are perpendicular. So, this is 90 degree. So, alpha and beta are these angles on the x axis. Alpha and beta are the acute angles the straight lines make with the x axis. Then alpha plus beta will be what? This is 90, na? this is a triangle. So, alpha plus beta should be 90 degree. Angle sum property we discussed yesterday. It's just it's a question on angle sum property instead of directly asking you showing you the triangle they are asking you to imagine the triangle using coordinate system that's all imagine no need to draw it also <laughs> just imagine sabko clear hai ye so option b 90 degree q hai 2020 gate exam problem if that is clear let's go to another question yeah, this, yeah, this one I will come back to. This is similar to what we discussed. There is another very interesting question. Yeah, this one also you can try before that. Try this question. Sorry, not this one. This question. Very good question. Some of the things we discussed in the inequality chapter also is needed here. Many chapters are connected. Things learned in one chapter may be needed in another chapter. If I, I have added almost one minute more if you are taking time to try carefully try it and answer it. Sorry, the timer was stuck. I think uh, you got enough time. Shall I explain? Some of you got an answer. Let's see whether it is right. Permutation combination idea is also important here. It's a very good question. Just a minute, I will 
uh, take a coordinate system image so that you can explain it with that itself. Okay, so right angle PQR is to be constructed in the XY plane so that the right angle is at P and the line PR is parallel to X axis, line PR is parallel to X axis. The line, the X and Y coordinates of PQR are to be integers which satisfies inequality minus 4 to uh, minus 5, integers on a So that means x and y coordinates x ka value kya kya ho sakta hai minus 4 minus 4 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 minus sorry 0 1 2 3 4 5 that is this 9 possibility sorry 10 possibility 10 possibility similarly this is 6 to minus 6 uh, plus 16 that is 6 7 8 9 up to 16 that is 11 possibility are you understanding how many different triangles could be constructed? So, I will first draw one such triangle. I will take say uh, 5 and uh, 16. 5 and 16 use karke ek triangle draw karna try karega. Just a minute. So, if I draw something like this. This is what the question is saying that it should be parallel now p and r should be parallel so p r and q this is 90 degree what else is mentioned pqr is to be constructed in xy plane so that the right angle p and line pr is parallel pr is parallel to x axis uh, the x and y coordinates of pqr are to be integers so x ka p uh, p ka value p ka value Pika x value can be any of these 10 possibility. Pika y value can any of these 11 possibility. Similarly, q ka x values can be any of these 10 and any of these 11 possibility. R ka x values can be any of these 10 and any of these 11 possibility. Are you all understanding? Just a minute. Okay, this is a little tricky one. So, I will draw a sample image. I will take say 0, 0 for P. If I take 0, 0 for P, I can redraw this image as 0, 0 and Y ka value, sorry, Q ka, R ka value I will take 1, 1 or R ka value I can take 0, 0, 1. 0 1 sorry 1 0 1 0 if I take then it is parallel this is parallel to x axis now x axis pay hai to bhi wo bhi parallel hai. so that is possible then q ka value q ka value kya ho sakta hai q ka value x value okay yeah that is a problem here for it to be right triangle there will be the y axis can change y axis can change y axis ka kitna possibilities hai y axis ka total 11 possibilities hai. so one triangle can be like this this is a possible triangle another triangle be li like this that is possible this is possible this is possible they should be integers x and y coordinates should be integers that is mentioned in the question so all these are possible that means p and r ka q change karke 11 possibilities ho na so 11 possibility to choose q are you all agreeing 11 possibility to choose q and for P and R, kitna possibilities hai? P yaha se yaha shift kar sakta hai. Now it is a proper code, sorry, proper permutation combination question. Yaha pe bohot sara chapters ka involvement hai. Permutation combination hai ya question mein. Inequalities hai, coordinate geometry hai. It's a very good hybrid question. So Q ka value, it can only be changing Y because in this case, in this case, so, there is 11 possibility for Q and P value can be, P value means P should be parallel to X axis. So, first P ka Y values can be here, here, sorry, X values can be here, 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 here. That is 10 possibility. So, Q, 
का टेन पॉसिबिलिटी वॉट एवर पीस पॉसिबिलिटी दैट मेनी ओनली क्यूज पॉसिबिलिटी ऑल्सो दैट मेनी ओनली क्यूज पॉसिबिलिटी ऑल्सो जस्ट अ मिनिट Yeah, actually, P is variable. That is the thing. If you start from Q, that will be confusing. You can start from P itself. P का कितना possibilities है? P you can start from anywhere because P के according बाकी R and Q change कर सकता है. P should be 90 degree. Now that is more important. P Q से भी connected है, R से भी connected है. R Q से connected होना that is okay. R Q can be anywhere. But P से connected है R also. P से connected है Q also. So, P ka kitna possibility hai? First of all, you think about it. P can be here, 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 here. P can be anywhere on this, na? Anywhere on where? Up to 10 possibility, up to, yeah, actually I am taking from 0 to 10. It is not 0 to 10. It is actually uh, minus 4 to 5. I am just shifting the origin just for convenience. If you want 0 to 10, it's, sorry, minus 4 to minus 5 itself, you can take that way. Minus 4, say 5 tak. P ka x ka values change kar sakta hai. So, minus 4 to 10, 5, kitna integers hai? Kitna integers hai? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That is why I am telling 0 to 10 liya to bhi chalega. So, P ka value here to here, x, x coordinate change kar sakta hai. Y coordinate kitna possibilities hai? Y coordinate 6 to minus 16. 6 to minus 16 means it can change from here to here. That is 11 possibility. So, 10 possibility here, 11 possibility on the y-axis. So, 10 into 11 possibility for P is there. 110 ways for P to be chosen. P choose karne ka 110 possibilities hai. How many of you understood point P choose kar sakta hai 110 ways mein? Because for each of the x value, y value can be changed na. Each of the x value, that means P being here is possible, sorry, P being here is not possible. Minus 4, x values can be between uh, minus 4 to plus 5, y should be between, uh, what was mentioned, y should be between uh, 6 to 16, but integers only possible. That means minus 4, 6 is a possibility, minus 4, 6, this is a possibility, minus 4, 7 is a possibility. Minus, sorry, minus 4, 7 is a possible, minus 4, 8, minus 4, 9, minus 4, uh, 10, minus 4, 11, up to minus 4, 16 tak possible hai, pika points. Are you understanding? Ye minus 4 ka. Similarly, minus 3 ka bhi. Minus 3 ka bhi, yes, a possible hai na. That is how 10 into 11. Permutation combination, fundamental principle of counting we discussed in the permutation combination chapter. P values choose kar sakta hai, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 ways mein. Sorry, P ka X values, P, P ka X coordinate choose kar sakta hai itna ways mein, 10 ways mein. P ka Y coordinate choose kar sakta hai 11 ways mein. So, P choose kar sakta hai X into, sorry, X ka possibility into Y into Y ka possibility. Ye 10 ways, ye 11 ways, 10 into 11 ways mein P choose kar sakta hai. Please respond, is this clear or not? P choose kar sakta hai 110 ways mein. Please respond all of you. All of you in the chat, whether it is clear or not. If not, if can you mention where you have doubt? It's a wonderful question. Does if you have doubt, can you specify the doubt where you have doubt? Ye dekho, P ka ek possibility minus 4 plus 6 hai. Minus 4 plus 7, minus 4 plus 8, minus 4 plus 9, up to minus 4 plus 16. Because okay, y can be any natural numbers or integers from 6 to 16. That is what is mentioned in the question. Ye x minus 4 choose karne wala 11 possibility hai. Abhi x minus 3 choose karne wala bhi 11 possibility hai na. x minus 4 choose karne wala bhi 11 possibility hai na. So, ye 10 x, x coordinate values ka 11 possibilities each hai. M ways to do one thing, N ways to do another thing. M into ways you can do both the things together. Fundamental principle of counting multiplication rule we learned in school days. So, PR we haven't started shaker. I only told where should be P. 
where should be p only i told now r i agree that pr should be sorry pr should be parallel to x axis but for each of these point you can choose r now that is why i told you first first choose p abhi ye p choose kiya to ye ye point kya hai minus 4 6 hai na minus 4 6 hai abhi r kahan pe choose karna hai ye parallel hone ke liye r can be chosen only on this line but r ka bhi r ka bhi values can be x can be between minus 4 to minus 4 to 6 na minus 4 to 5 sorry minus 4 to 5 and y can be between minus 6 6 to plus 16 r ka bhi x and y can be varying from any value from minus 4 to 5 x any value from 6 to 16 for y are you getting that point that means now R cannot be on this P itself, then that is not a line, that is a point only. R can be here, sorry. R can be here, R can be here, R can be here, 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 here. X ka points, wo sub possible hai. Lekin Y zero hona chahiye. Sorry, y, y can be 6 only, sorry. Y can be 6 only. Minus 5, 6 is possible. Sorry, minus 3, 6. Minus 2, 6. Minus 1, 6. 0, 6. 1, 6, 2, 6, 3, 6, up to, up to what is possible? X ka value maximum up to 5 ja sakta hai. So, up to 5, 6 you can go. Up to 5, 6. Is that clear? That is why R can be chosen now. Not this force, minus 4, 6 is not allowed. But 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 possible, sorry, uh, 9 possibility. 10 minus 1 possibility. Ye x ka 10 possibility mein minus 4 wala possibility avoid karna hai kyunki wo line nahi hoga. Y change nahi kar sakta. So R ka P ka possibility x choose karne ka uh, 11 ways. X choose karne ka 10 ways or Y choose karne ka 11 ways hai. 10 into 11. Lekin R ka Y choose karne ka ek hi way hai. Because it should be parallel na. It should be parallel means y should be same itself. But x choose karne ka 9 ways hai. Why 9 ways? Because the first p cannot be r also. Then that is not a line. So 9 into 1 ways for choosing r. p choose karne ka 110 ways. r choose karne ka 9 ways. Now q choose karne ka. q choose karne ka kitna ways hai. That is important. q choose karne ka kitna ways hoga. All of you think about it. Q choose karne ka 10 ways hoga. How Q choose karne ka 10 ways hoga? Now, Q ka, the thing is that this should be perpendicular na. Ye line perpendicular hona chahiye. So, Q should be somewhere here only. So, how many points remaining? 11 me se 1 point P ne occupy kiya. Wo point Q bhi choose kiya to wo triangle nahi hai. Wo sirf ek line hai. P and Q same hai na. So, this is Q, 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 that is 7 to 16, 7 to 16, 10 points can be Q. Or we can say, Q ka x axis can be minus 5, minus 6 up to minus, uh, uh, sorry, um, not minus 5. Q ka x axis can be minus 4 only. It can be minus 4, but y axis can be 7, y axis can be 8, y axis can be up to 16. So, y axis can be 7 to 16, but x axis can only be minus 4. That is one way to choose x axis. Y axis can be chosen in 11 minus uh, 1 ways. That is 10 ways. That is 9, sorry, total 10 ways. Abhi P, R, Q, ye tino choose karne ka different ways will be 110 into 9 into 10 ways. 110 into 9 into 10 ways. 9 into 11, 9900 9, ways will be there. Wonderful question in my opinion. It's a question which combines many chapters understanding together. If you missed any of those chapters, please check the recording. Especially permutation combination chapter is kiya to uska recording dek lijiye. Equations and inequality chapter, wo bhi recording dek lijiye. Or ye chapter ka idea bhi chahiye. Tino chapter ka idea use kar sakta, karna hai. Ye question clearly understand karne ke liye. But once you have practiced these questions more, Without drawing this picture, you can understand, okay, this point will be here. All these can be possible. Esa soch sakta hai. How many of you are completely clear about this? So, option C, 9900 is the answer.
P का x कोऑर्डिनेट y कोऑर्डिनेट R का x कोऑर्डिनेट y कोऑर्डिनेट Q का x कोऑर्डिनेट y कोऑर्डिनेट चूज करने का कितना तरीका है वो फाइन करने के बाद फाइनली P का वैल्यू Q का वैल्यू R का वैल्यू को फंडामेंटल प्रिंसिपल ऑफ काउंटिंग से कनेक्ट कर रहा है पॉसिबिलिटीज को चेक करके सो so, ऐसा 9900 ट्रायंगल्स आर पॉसिबल आई विल जस्ट पुट सम सैंपल पॉसिबिलिटीज सो ये एक पॉसिबल ट्रायंगल है 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 सिमिलरली ये एक पॉसिबल ट्रायंगल है ये एक पॉसिबल ट्रायंगल है ये सब पॉसिबल ट्रायंगल्स है दैट वे 9900 वेलकम शाइस्टा सो आई थिंक नाउ यू कैन ट्राई सम क्वेश्चंस होमवर्क I will try to include the solutions of this we already done. 2022 का सारा क्वेश्चन हम किया ऑलरेडी 20 का भी किया 21 में डायरेक्टली क्वेश्चन नहीं आया था कोऑर्डिनेट ज्योमेट्री से ये भी किया ये भी ट्राई करो दिस इज सिमिलर टू वन क्वेश्चन वी डिस्कस्ड ये ये इसी है ट्राई इट या इसका आंसर की ये नहीं है आई विल गिव द करेक्ट आंसर की इन द होमवर क्वेश्चन स्लाइड्स इन द टेलीग्राम चैनल सो थैंक यू प्रीति so that's it i think we can conclude here all of you invite your friends to the two upcoming classes also and do like this uh, video if you felt the session was useful do like this video and do comment on this video let more people join today's crowd was comparatively less than yesterday so to for more people to be part of it all of you take an effort if you felt the session was useful do hit the like button and if you want to be part of the telegram channel you can check out the description of this video and to get more update subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you will not miss any update whenever i take a class in case the class is late or something you will be notified if you are subscribing the channel and in the comment section also you can interact if you are subscribing and invite more people to be part of this channel and part of this initiative thank you all of you for the good words in the comment section also do mention what you felt about the class and share it to maximum people who want to learn coordinate geometry this is a topic not only needed for gate if you are preparing for csc or net or other competitive exam also ye bahut hi important hai and other government exams also uh, try to understand this concept directly or indirectly this is needed that is the thing not only for this chapter for other chapters also so that's it thank you take care bye bye have a good day see you all on the next class